If you've ever tried to sideload apps on your Fire Stick, you may have encountered issues where certain parts of the screen can't be selected, or you're unable to scroll down using the directional button on your remote. This can be a frustrating problem to deal with. However, there is a solution that will allow you to continue using your sideloaded apps. In this video, I'll show you how to fix it. Let's go and take a look. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. In this example, I have the Virus Total app installed on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max. By the way, if you want to check out how to scan your Fire Stick for unsafe or potentially malicious apps, click the video link above or in the description below to find out more. I'm using the direction button on my Fire Stick remote to try and highlight an area of the screen to select it, but there's no indicator on screen to tell me where I am. But by installing a virtual mouse app, I can turn on a mouse pointer and use the mouse to navigate the screen fully. The virtual mouse isn't available on the Amazon App Store, so you will have to sideload it. Now, as the type of apps with these problems tend to be the ones you've sideloaded, I assume you already have the downloader app installed and you know how to use it. If you're unfamiliar with the downloader app, I suggest watching a previous video that provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. You can access that video by clicking the link above me or in the description below. Once you've watched the video, return to this one and follow the next steps. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my Downloads page to load, then press the Menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Next, tap down the screen to view a list of categories. Select the Tools category, then tap down the list to find Mouse Toggle and select it. On the next screen, tap down until you see the blue download buttons that look like this. Depending on your Fire Stick model, there are two different versions for Fire Stick users, so make sure you select the correct button for your Fire Stick. As I'm using the 4K Max in this example, I'll need to select the Fire TV 4K button. Then follow the on-screen prompt to install the app. When the app is installed, make sure to click Done and then delete and delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required and will take up space on your Fire Stick. Before using Mouse Toggle, you'll need to turn on ADB settings. So before you go ahead and open the Mouse Toggle app, ensure you've enabled this setting. To access settings, click on the gear icon on your home screen. Then select My Fire TV, followed by Developer Options. Finally, turn on ADB Debugging by tapping it and switching it from Off to On. To use the virtual mouse, we need to open up the Mouse Toggle app. When we do, a message will pop up asking if we want to allow USB debugging. Click the box next to Always Allow from this computer and click OK to grant permission. After a few seconds, the status down at the bottom of the screen will change to Starting. We need to wait a little bit longer and then the status will update to Started. This means that the virtual mouse toggle is now ready to use. If you're having trouble getting the status to change from starting to started, don't worry, that doesn't mean it's not working. There's an easy fix. Just tap down and select the blue ADB settings button, turn off ADB debugging and turn it back on again. Then press the back button on your remote to get back to mouse toggle. 
this time the status should update to started. To use the mouse toggle, quickly press the play pause button on your remote twice. This will give you a mouse pointer in the middle of your screen. Then you can easily move around the screen using the directional button on your Fire Stick remote. Going back to Virus Total as an example, with the mouse toggle activated, I can move to any part of the screen and then click the center button on the remote. This will function like a left button click, allowing you to perform the select action as you would with a real mouse. The virtual mouse toggle also has a scroll function, just like the scroll wheel on a mouse. With the mouse toggle activated, press the fast forward button on your remote to scroll down the screen and press the options or menu button to scroll back up the screen. One of the most frequently asked questions about a mouse toggle is how to use the scroll feature. If you're still watching this video, let me know that you know how to use the scroll feature by typing the word scroll in the comments section below. To deactivate the mouse toggle, press the play pause button once. You can now return to using the Fire Stick remote as usual. The mouse pointer may take a few seconds to disappear from your screen. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.